Today we're gonna be going over five different ways on how to lace the Air Jordan 7s. I'll be using one foot for the example, showing you guys the step-by-step -step process, and we're gonna do some on-foot looks for each style as well. That way you can see what they look like. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is The DNA Show. Hey! On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys tutorials like this. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and joining the fam. We're on the road to a million subscribers, and you could be the next one to get us there. Now let's take it to style number one, the dead style look so as you can see right here this is typically how the sneaker comes when it's fresh out the box and you haven't worn the shoe yet and we as sneaker heads like to call this the dead stock style so if you flip the laces up from behind the tongue you can see right here it has the knot and some people typically either wear it with the knot exposed or with the knot behind the tongue so let's take a quick look at both styles on foot and then we'll take it to the next style How did you guys feel about that first style? Me personally, not my favorite, but I have seen people rock it, so I wanted to make sure I introduced that to y'all as well. Now let's take it to one of my favorite styles. This right here we call the loose fit. So what we're gonna do is undead stock the lace style, and then we're gonna take the laces out from the front end because they go outward and inside to the holes. We wanna go from inside out, that way we can make sure that laces are able to hang throughout the outside. So what we're gonna do is this, lace it through this bottom hole again, let it hang maybe about, I don't know, about two or three inches down low. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here on the opposite side. And then what we're gonna wanna do is take our fingers and loosen it up just right here on the top and slowly disperse the laces throughout. I like to take three fingers and pull it like this. That way there's an even disbursement throughout the laces as we loosen it up. And then, oh man, this is gonna be my favorite. I love rocking these like this. That's why I'm so excited to show you guys. So as you can see right here, this is more of that loose style. It's gonna look a lot more better on foot. So let's just see what it looks like on foot. So how do you guys feel about that style? Now when it comes to the Air Jordan 7, this shoe is configured almost kind of like a Hirachi. So it has like a booty basically all throughout the inside of the foot. So you never really have to worry about the shoe falling off your foot if you were to wear it with this loose style. I know a lot of people have that concern, but as you can see from the constructions right here, this material, this nylon material goes all the way throughout and into the back, which locks your foot in. So it's pretty hard to have the shoe fly off your foot. Now for this next style, I like to call it the high knot. So what we're gonna do is tighten this shoe back up and get it looking a lot more formal. And I think a lot of people typically when they see people wear their Air Jordan 7s, it is kind of hard because you got the flaps on the sides right here. But what they typically might do is wear this with some jeans or something like that. And they'll either lace it right here and put a knot just like this, looking like almost like they're about to go hoop or something. But you'll see it with the knot right here or they'll go to the top and put it up one more hole above and then lace it up all the way high, super high at the top. Now, me personally, I don't really like this style because I feel like I'm just gonna be ready to go hoop and play in a basketball game or something, but I definitely do see people rocking it like this and they'll have the knot with the bow tie and then they'll have like their jeans kind of draped over it or something like that. I even seen people rock this with shorts this way, so I'll give you guys a couple of different looks and we'll see what you think about the on foot looks. So what do you guys think about that style? Drop a comment down below and let me know. What we're gonna do next is do another style when it comes to the bow tie, but a little bit different. We're gonna unlace it again and leave these bottom two holes open. And then what we're gonna do is go back to similar to that dead stock style. We're gonna go from the outside and work our way in. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side of the foot and go from the outside working our way in. And then we're gonna wanna do is put a bow tie right here and this is going to kind of sit on the inside at the top and then we'll loosen it up and give it that loose vibe and uh, i've seen a lot of people wear their air jordan 7s this way so i'm going to loosen this up and show you guys what it looks like on foot This 
style in particular I think is a fan favorite. Like I said earlier, I see a lot of people rocking it with this style. I have done it before, but not too often. I feel like the loosey goosey just you know just laces all over the place that's just been my style for many a years for all my sneakers i never like tying my shoes i like to just slip them on and go and honestly you could pretty much do the same thing with this because it's pretty loose down here so i'm interested to see what you guys think about this style now we have one final style that you know we got to do in every single video the bars okay so what you're going to want to do is make sure that the shoe is entirely unlaced and you just have the initial bar up front and then we're going to do one hole skip a hole and go to the opposite hole so we'll start with this right side first we'll go immediately in this first hole and then we're going to go up and over across and create that first bar and then what we're going to do is the same thing on the opposite side but we're going to skip two holes so we're going to let this one sit and we're going to take this original lace now from the left side and go underneath this pull it through up to the second hole right here go under and out bang bang and then we're going to pull across directly to the opposite hole and create that third bar and we're going to repeat this process all the way to the top so instead of going here we're going to skip a hole bam run it through and then on this one we already skipped the hole so we're going to bam run it through and then we're going to go directly across pretty simple process just always make sure that you're skipping a hole when you're going through i'm interested to see the bar style on the air jordan 7 we always do the bar style on every single jordan so it's always fun trying to figure out how to lace it depending on the model and everything like that so i'm having fun doing this and sometimes it actually ends up coming out looking pretty solid now i don't know exactly we're probably going to leave this one we're just going to tuck this one on the inside when it comes to the top this last and final one we're going to do the bar across bang and then we'll tuck that inside so this is the bar style on the air jordan 7. i'm excited to see what these look like on foot let's check it out Now that was definitely a very interesting look. I can't say it was my favorite, but I'm not mad at it. And again, I'm excited to hear what you guys think about the different styles down below in the comment section. So don't forget to let me know which styles you guys like the most and stick around to the end for the final comment of the day. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges so all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section that will get you set up and into the community i'm excited to see you guys on the inside if you made it to the end of this video drop a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite air jordan 7 colorway of all time man that is a hard question. I'll let you guys do the answering. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share it to the friends if they need any help. And uh, I think that should be good. Oh yeah, we're on the road to a million subscribers. Again, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you at the top. All right, y'all, we out.